In this video, I'm going to talk about Google Ads, drafts, and experiments campaigns and give you some tips and rules to follow when uh, creating these campaigns. So here we have uh, one campaign. As you can see, the bidding is set uh, to maximize clicks. So that's usually the first type of campaign we go with in the beginning, just to, to get an idea of the costs and get other metrics. But at the same time, we'll also run a conversion campaign. So if you go in here, you can see um, it's maximized clicks. We set a maximum CPC bid limit that the client specified. And then, uh, you know, here there's these different options, right? Conversions, conversion value, impression share. So uh, what we want to do is run a draft experiment campaign uh, using the conversions instead of maximize clicks, right? So um, let's do that. So what we do right here is just click on all campaigns and then click draft and experiments. And just click uh, new right here. You're going to enter your draft name. So this is going to be, uh, uh, we'll put draft. Actually, you know what? PRP facial dash draft dash conversions. Okay, we're going to click save. Oops, you got to select the campaign. And then click save. Okay, so this essentially created uh, the draft. Now, uh, if you just go to drafts and experiments here, click new experiment, and then we're going to call the experiment here. Experiment. Start date, end date, so we can run this for a certain amount of time. So here, in this case, in a month, but we, uh, we suggest to run it uh, for two to three months to get uh, really good data. And uh, you're going to leave the experiment split at 50. So what that's going to do is it's going to keep 50% of the budget here and 50% here. So currently we have this set to 100 per day. So what it's going to do is going to make this 50 per day and this 50 per day. And um, you want to keep this uh, search based. What cookie based means, and you can read it here, is it essentially uh, shows the ad based on the cookie of the person. And search based just shows the ad. Uh, to the person based on whatever Google Ads uh, wants to show, so not, not based on the cookie. So our best practice is to use the, the search based. And um, we're going <clears> to <throat> we're gonna uh, run this here indefinitely. And of course, we're going to set a reminder for ourselves to check in two months uh, on this, right? So let's click Save. And then we're going to go into Settings here. And we're going to change this here, change bid strategy, and we're going to change it to conversions. So if you click set a target uh, CPA, this will essentially give you the target CPA that Google thinks um, will give you the best results. So <clears throat> this is also based on what the client wants, it's not just what Google wants. So sometimes we need to consult the client what's the maximum they're willing to pay per conversion. And then uh, we can set that or just use Google's amount. Um, also, the lower this uh, target CPA is, the lower we're going to pay per conversion. And uh, But also, we might not uh, get listed on top of Google for some of these keywords, right? So that's why it's good to go with the recommended one. right? But in this case, we're not going to set a target CPA. We're going to let it run and we're going to monitor this every week to make sure that these uh, that the costs are not huge and uh, unreasonable right okay and then we have this little message this campaign will use the maximize conversions bid strategy to help you get the most conversions for your budget so if we go here for example uh, you can see that's maximize conversions so it's um we can we can go this route or the previous one so we'll just go back to the previous one and set it to this okay and we click save And uh, that's essentially it. So, so now after some time has passed, we're going to have to come in here and evaluate the results. We're going to have to compare these two campaigns, right? The PRP facial and the conversion experiment. So um, also naming this, uh, I didn't name it correctly, so it should be, it should be called PRP facial uh, experiment or draft. 
So um, where do I change this? <clears throat> Okay, so for some reason it's not it's not being re reflected there. Maybe it will when, when it's updated. Um, so now what we what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare these two, and I'll give you a real real life example. So if we look here, we have um, this is an auto glass shop. We have a draft campaign here, Richmond Hill draft, and then this is the the standard campaign. So I actually open them in two tabs. One is Richmond Hill, and one is the draft. Okay, Richmond Hill draft. So what, what we do here is you can just go to conversions. It'll show you all the, all the different conversion values. Or you could just uh, cu customize it so it shows you other values as well. And when you're evaluating campaigns, you're looking at percentages. You want to see the percentage uh, growth in conversions or conversion rate. So here we're looking at the conversion rate, right? And if you look at the conversion rate here, so in this campaign it's 18.6 and here it's 16.9. And if you look at the average CPC, you can see here it's 10.44. Average CPC <clears throat> is 11.41. So this campaign is giving us um, 93 conversions, and this one is giving us 27 conversions, right? So we're looking at, at all these things to determine which campaign is better, right? We're also looking at uh, the cost per conversion. So you can see here it's 65 for this one. And it's 62 for this one. So they're pretty close. You know, this campaign has been running for about a month. So we're actually going to let this campaign uh, run a little bit longer. And that will give us some more insights and a better way to make a decision. So if we look at uh, here, you can see it says when running drafts, you're looking at percentages. You're analyzing if the conversions are increasing by a certain percentage and the cost going down by a certain percentage. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that our conversions are increasing in the draft campaign and that our costs are going down by a certain percentage. Okay, and that's essentially it. Then now uh, once once we decide, all right, this campaign is performing better, then we just click here, apply. And then what this is going to do is it's going to apply this draft campaign to the original campaign and it's going to uh, pause the original campaign. Okay, so that's essentially it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.